The big question as we inch closer to the counting is that where is the India bloc getting a confidence of 295 numbers? We saw, for example, Rahul Gandhi when he was questioned about the exit poll. He said that this is not an exit poll. This is actually a Modi poll. In fact, he went on to quote Sidhu Musewala to say that just as his famous song was 295, that's exactly the numbers which he is getting. we are getting. Now, this raises the question that uh, is the India bloc being delusional? Is the India bloc's claim based on any kind of reality? But where did the number really come in from? Well, on the day of the exit poll across the channels, including CNN News 18, there was a meeting which was taking place at Mr. Kharge's residence of the entire India bloc. What everyone was doing is getting a sheet of paper and their own state numbers they were putting on the drawing board. For example, Akhilesh Yadav said that in UP, at least 40 seats will be won by the SP and the Congress. The AAP claims that in Delhi, at least four would be won. For example, in Karnataka, it said that more than 25 seats would be won. In Gujarat, the claim by the Congress leadership over there was at least five seats. In Rajasthan, you're 10. Now, many of you must be wondering that are these numbers even real? How is it really possible that the SP plus the Congress would win 40 seats in a state where the BJP completely has a control, where there's Yogi Adityanath factor and the Prime Minister factor? And that is where the question arises is that in their block and is the Congress party once again making the same mistake that it did in 2019. Now remember in 2019, the Congress's insiders told Rahul Gandhi that you are going to get at least 120 seats. As it turned out, it did not even muster the enough number of seats where it could claim the position of the uh, leader of the House in Lok Sabha. And that is something which the BJP has never allowed them to forget. So is a similar mistake being made. Now, what happens is one is ambitious, one can make claims, but also one has to understand the grip on the ground. When we travel, for example, we notice that while there is a sense of anger in some pockets as far as you know unemployment price rise is concerned, but many were willing to believe the BJP's ability to deliver it more than they had a faith in the India bloc. That is one factor. Second is that whatever the anger they said, at the end of the day, we'll end up voting for the BJP because we think that the BJP or the Prime Minister can give to us in this term, which perhaps he has not been able to give in his second term. That's one factor. Second, many of the figures which may be given to Rahul Gandhi may not really be the real ones. They may be over ambitious or they may have spoken to the people where they think the people are telling them the real picture and also the party workers. The fact is that elections are won and lost also on the basis of party workers, the karikarta, the polling agents. That is where the Congress party seems to have lost out. On the ground, the Congress needs to do well if it wants the entire numbers of the India bloc to rise. But that certainly did not seem to be happening. And therefore, for many of us who are looking at the 295 ambitious figure being given by Rahul Gandhi, one is reminded of Sonia Gandhi's similar claim in the 90s when she said, I have 272 and I can prove it which she never could. And rest is history. Will that be a similar case? Will Rahul's 295 be like Sonia Gandhi's 272?